What up, man? This is Ramon Rodriguez. Welcome back to my channel. All right, man, we celebrating the 400 subscribers that I got, man. You feel me? I couldn't be, I couldn't have gotten them subscribers without y'all, man. I was supposed to be getting a bottle. You know, I was supposed to be taking shots for y'all, but my, that video might have to come out later tonight or maybe tomorrow, gang. We're going to see, we're going to see. But uh, I'm going to react to this video for y'all, man. It's, man, this title already fucked up, gang. It's uh, this uh, Nicholas Lyran on hearing baby burst out of pregnant lady's stomach after snipe. Like, bro, it already sound crazy as hell. You know, we got to check out that whoop. All right, man, for the new viewers out there, man, I'm just making it work what I got, you know, making a way out of no way. All right, let's get to the video again. Yeah, for motherfuckers out there, be like you whispering, bro. Nigga, you, you'll be whispering too if you had a mo if you lived in a motherfucker trailer, man, with a motherfucker the, the fucking wall in his head when you got a motherfucker. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking shit about people, but you got your motherfucking parent, a guy, fucking in the living room just hearing you while your mom at work, bruh. Hey, it's a long story, bruh. We still won't get to the wood. We ain't gonna let nothing stop me, man. If you wanna, if you wanna. You know my situation go back to my videos it's titled my situation gang like we ain't finna go there but let's get to the wolves gang you know. shout out jay man man why fuck your bitch fybj man that's how you know his name tricky as hell shout out that nigga man you know let's get back to the wolves like i said man i make the way out of nowhere you heard You're about to lie and do the comment song and say that I need to get like an editor or something. I mean, if you want to edit my video, you can, gang. But this is straight raw, man. Like, I ain't even no fucking YouTuber in the first place, man. I'm just the day in the life of a common rapper, nigga. I ain't into all that YouTube shit, nigga. I don't really like, nigga, if I don't team, they be adding that shit. I'm just a rapper, nigga. You guys get in my lifestyle. Like, come on now. Half of the videos I put up get copyrighted anyways. You feel me? This ain't no... Get better editing videos because I like your reaction video. This is what I post, what I want to post my channel. Day in the life of a welcoming rapper, man. Like I say, if you guys want to help out, cash app go. If you guys want to, like, like I do say, get better better equipment, all right, man, how about you help out? Send me some cash, man. You feel me? Cash at me, bro. Help a nigga out, man, so I can go get that equipment, gang, because I'm really, I'm really coming from the bottom, man. Make it way out of nowhere, gang. That's what the fuck I'll be saying. Right, let's get to the wolves. But you, you want to know something? We touched base on this earlier. Uh, we were talking about that Charlie Sheen movie, Navy mm -hmm. Seals, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And and how Holly. Oh, yeah, make sure y'all get you know your blown device. Your 420, don't worry about me, man. You know I be trapped. I have little knickknacks here and there. Just, you know I'm blown off, blown off a little bull. You feel me? If I was in my own crib, I'd be blown off blind. You know how that shit go. You know. But yeah, man, make sure you get your blown device too. Blow with a nigga, you feel me? All right, let's get to the whoops. You know, after I take a hit, I like to say cheers. Be, you know, people be saying cheers. I say cheers to get fears. Let's get it, man. Let's get to the whoop. But glamorizes, you know, <coughs> snipers and being a Navy SEAL or Army Ranger, Green Beret. Mm -hmm. Is there a movie that any of us can watch mm -hmm. that, that, tells it exactly like it is because you said no sane person no. would would ever want no no nobody who's educated nobody who literally has any sense about themselves would sign up to be a sniper knowing that they're gonna to get fears, see and do some of the things that you have seen and done yourself mm -hmm. is, is have you ever seen a movie out there that 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 brings it home just truly like this is what it is this is what you can expect and trust me when i tell you you don't want no parts of this hmm. maybe there's two movies but i mean one was back in world war ii that's saving Robert ryan mm -hmm. and i would say like the gotta watch it now let's go maybe there's two movies but 
I mean, one was back in World War II. That's Saving Private Ryan. Mm -hmm. And I would say, like, the... Oh, maybe there's two movies, but... I mean, one was back... That put his subtitles on, guy. In World War II. That's Saving Private Ryan. Mm -hmm. And I would say, like, the opening scene... I have... Okay, it's called Saving Private Ryan. Gotta go check that shit out, guy. I'm gonna check that movie out. I've never been through anything like that, but I guess the intensity of... You don't know if you're gonna live or die... Mm -hmm. I was about to say, nigga, he just told you to be the most realistic, and he gonna say, I never experienced, boy, I'm like, what the fuck, man, you know? And I would say, like, the opening <coughs> scene, I have never been through anything like that, but I guess the intensity of, you don't know if you're gonna live or die, I guess from that, outlook on... Man, it's not exciting, though, man. Yeah, I just got this fucking shit right. I don't know what to call this material. Y'all can hear it all right, but... Man, this shit damn near plastic, nigga. Look at this shit. You know, this shit getting hot, you know? <laughs> you know? I mean, you could kind of look at it that way from Saving Private Ryan, that beginning scene where they're storming the beaches of Normandy. Yep, yep. And then you have... Um, Marcus Luttrell's movie, Lone, uh, Lone Survivor, Storm in the Beaches of Normandy. Yep, yep. And then you have um, Marcus Luttrell's movie. He's in Lone Survivor with that motherfucking uh, dude from, uh, man, uh, uh, from uh, Step, Stepdad or some shit like that. Uh, from Four Brothers. That dude that looks Mexican. What the fuck is his name? Walbert. I think he in that movie again. How the fuck I ain't check that whoop out? I gotta check that whoop out, my boys. Let's get back to the whoop, you know? Lone, su uh, lone Survivor. Um, certain aspects in that fire <clears throat> fight, watching his friends die, that was pretty, you know, realistic, I think. But as far as what it's like from... to show the truth without the Hollywood glamorization on it, glamorizing it, I don't think that there's a movie out there. I don't. And if there was, it would be, I don't know what you would rate it, you know? It would. You already said it's not a movie that they can glamorize it. Also, real shit, bro. You don't need to fake now, bro. Just show this nigga the truth. They still gonna fuck with it, because I heard this one dude said, man, we was in the motherfucking jungle. That shit look good on camera, but that shit ain't good. You feel me? I feel him on that the whole time. That shit, like me, bro, with my, my documentary. Y'all see I be walk, walking the highways and shit. That shit that shit ain't cool, nigga. But on camera, that shit cool, bro. I just seen, what's the name of uh, this Jewish rapper named Kosher? Man, L L P H Kosher, some shit like that, right? And he did a music video when he was in motherfucking traffic. Go check out the music video. It's called Fool's Falls, Fool's Gold. It's a good-ass song, by the way. Yeah, I put y'all on, but, uh, yeah, he did a music video while he was on the motherfucking highway, you feel me? Like, that shit ain't cool, but it look good on camera, gang. On my mama, nigga. Just like me, bro. Everybody want to say they come from the bottom, nigga. Until they live it, gang. You feel me? I'm really showing y'all, nigga. I really come from the bottom. So, you know, when we get to the top, when we at the top, we going to feel great. I already feel great, bro. Because a nigga thriving in this bitch, you know. Let's get back to the whoops, though, you know. Man, look. This shit kicked me off. I took too long, gang. All right, let's get back to the wolf. The bro. general gives you a break when you need it. And that's why we're giving you a break from this ad. You know, it would mess certain people up. Mm -hmm. You can only be so graphic in movies and only go so far of what really goes on in war. And most of the stuff that goes on in war is rarely talked about. Rarely talked about. Just because it's, 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 sometimes it, it is hell, you know? Sometimes it is. Sometimes you see the most messed up stuff that it's better off not talking about for mental, spiritual, whatever reasons to cope, but to grasp and capture everything that happens in combat, there's no movie out there that does that. There's a lot of stuff that goes on that if I told people, one, you'd be looked at like you're crazy. Two, uh, yeah, they just look at you like you're crazy. If some of the stories that happen or go on over there 
you know, came out. And I'm not saying it's like bad, bad, bad stuff. It's just things you'd never expect to see. You know, you never, uh, no, a uh, little example. I was a new guy. Uh, my first deployment, we were in Tikrit, Iraq. And a sniper, before I was a sniper, I was a... Just a yeah, I would love to get drinks with this guy. For real, he, he got some good-ass story. Man. New guy. You know. um, the sniper was on the rooftop <gasps> overwatching us on the ground. <clears throat> um, laying down, watching my little sector, making sure nobody comes in my sector. But there's a, a hut, a small house beside me off to my left and I can hear footsteps in it and like ruckus uh, like ruckus and people just making a lot of noise and, and banging around I knew they were doing something in there I didn't take anything of it until I heard the glass I heard a snap and a, the glass break and water and a body fall or something fall but I didn't find out till what it was after the fact was the sniper had shot a lady who was grabbing an AK and she knew I was right there. I had no idea she was up, you know, noticing where I was at, but he shot her. She was pregnant. And that water that I've heard come out was, I guess her water, her, the fluid and the baby popped out of her stomach right there on the floor. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Split her open. That it, the pressure didn't yeah, split her open. And I'll never forget that. That's this one, and that's not even like the the worst thing. No, nah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> early in the conversation, I, I'm sitting here like with my mouth open. You were talking about how the team had to go back and and they're putting parts of heads together and mm -hmm. body parts, and they're like, "Well, let's just call it five. We think." It's five people. Yeah, it, like yeah, that, yeah. you know how crazy that is. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> At the time, I mean, it doesn't seem like it. Then I didn't like it. I'm not gonna say I didn't like it. Um, I just wanted to. to I don't know. It stunk really bad. That's what was getting me. And I wasn't. Yeah, it just smelled really bad. I didn't like the the smell of that. You know, that, and that's and that's one of the things that Hollywood will never be able to capture. There you go. Yeah. Is, it, you know, we we have five senses. So yes. You, you can capture the sight, you can capture the, the sound. Um, but that smell has got to be. Yeah, you never forget. The burning flesh, yeah. Never forget that. Uh, the, the sound of it bubbling and the smell of it. Seriously, yeah. And no one's ever captured, like, the blood curdling scream of someone. There's actors. Actors can only act mm -hmm. so far, but to really get that. That soul scream of, this is it, my last one, it, I've never heard that before. I've only heard it over there. I've never heard it on film. Mm -hmm. But once you hear it, you never forget it, though. How I went from this Shit, to ask this. him what it sounded like. I want to know what it sounded like. I think the best... The best actor with the best scream... Best actor with the best scream to me is Chucky, man. Go look at his burn scene, man. When he got burned, that nigga can, can act, gang, you know? Definitely play good pain in the screen game, you know? Well, you said earlier in this conversation that you actually did. Well, shit, the whoop's over. All right, man, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Come here for your part of the video. Tap the notification bell. Turn your notifications on. If you guys want to donate my channel, Cash App going to be in the bottom of the link description. If you guys want to follow me on IG, my social is going to be in the bottom of the link description. All right, man, stay tuned. We got big things coming up on this channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of In the Day in the Life of Upcoming Rapper Squad.